is Lee98 here, and welcome to the next episode of Mario Kart Wii Modding 101. So, today's episode, we are going to be looking at custom background tutorials. And the first thing I will mention is Emil has made a brilliant tutorial on how to make a custom animated background, as you can see here. Now, this tutorial I'm creating today is for static backgrounds, so if you would like to do an animated background, I highly recommend using Emil's tutorial found on his channel here. Now, he references this page by Silver on the Mario Kart boards, and this page links the menu single file that I will be using and distributing. So this is where I got it from. This is also where Emil got most of his inspiration to make his animated background tutorial. So we will use this similar thing to make our static background tutorial. So you're going to want to start off by downloading the menu single file, which I have got here. And as you can see, this is one that we edited in our last video where we looked at the custom character selection screen. So we have Shinx, Weavile and Lopunny replacing Dry Bones, Mario and Peach respectively. Just thought I'd show you that that's the same one. So you want to head to BG, which is background, makes sense and back to the TIMG because that seems to house all images. So you can see here that we have Pat. So normally when you're doing animated you want to put different frames in these different ones but all we want to do is actually change the individual textures and keep them all the same because obviously our background is not going to be moving. So quite simply just open all of these up. As you can see, I've already replaced it with a texture I have, which is my old channel art. And I'm going to replace it with a Pokemon related background. So now I've opened all of those, I go to the top texture zero, and all I'm going to do is control R. And let's quickly find the image we want. I believe it's actually in my King Boo custom, which is here. There it is, Mewtwo background. Now the only thing you want to make sure of is that the dimensions are 500 by 375 because that will fit the background screen perfectly. Obviously you can alter this when you're bringing the image into Brawl Crate, so you can resize it through that. So I click OK, and then I'll just go down and I'll speed this bit up for you guys but basically you just want to do it for every single texture zero under all of those PAT TPL files. So I will speed this up now. Okay, so now that's done. All we have to do is save this file. And once it takes its time, because it's quite large, that will be done. And just a quick note, in terms of troubleshooting, I would highly recommend using these shared files. And what's happened to that one? <laughs> um, because this has been rebuilt in SZS tools. <laughs> so uh, it basically works with CTGP so I would definitely recommend downloading the file linked in this YouTube description or Emil's or Silver's because they are the ones that will work and that's about it really guys all you have to do now is take your menu single file copy it into your my stuff folder as we've seen many times and then I will see you on the Wii in just a second and there we go. You can see that we have that lovely Mewtwo image in the background. And it fits perfectly on screen. Looks pretty cool. We've got the Master Ball in front there as one of my old back model edits. The Master Ball with the Mewtwo. 
So that's how to very quickly and easily do a menu single mod so you can have a custom background guys. Now just to quickly show you the difference between the files for single player, multiplayer and I won't show you but globe is globe is for WinFi when you're online and menu single is for single player, menu multi for multiplayer and because I didn't ed edit the menu multi file you're about to see what happens so as you can see there's no background so that's because we need to edit all the other files as well so you can get custom menu multis and custom globes which is something else that I'm sure we can do in the future for you guys but I just thought I'd let you know but just quickly heading back to our lovely Mewtwo file, we can see that it all still still works as expected for when you're going on single player and it, you get your nice customization, whatever you wish, however you wish it. I'll just quickly go and show you. It works all the way through. We've still got our missing peach <laughs> and there is the image always behind. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, and if you're going to make a custom background, please comment down below, and leave me a like, give me a subscribe if you haven't already, because all the support is greatly appreciated guys, and I can keep producing these videos, whatever you want, whenever you want. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next week for a Dark Boo episode. Cheers.